Sometimes the best offense is defense. Up, Woody Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. And today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Blue Lock Chapter 135. And last time I covered this manga, my God, we got um, Aiku feeling the flow. And we found out that originally he was a striker, but how the adults were trying to make him conform to what they wanted in terms of a striker versus what we see with Blue Lock um, having um, the strikers, you know, choose their own path of be striker wise. Um, it's just so night and day. And Aiku realizes like, I'm not having fun anymore. I could do what these motherfuckers want and, you know, get um, go pro, get a wife and, you know, maybe be happy, but that's not what I want. I don't want to do it this way. I want to do it my way. And he switched to defense and promised himself that he's not going to let any of the motherfuckers do it to strikers ever again. And he's not going to let blue lock he's not gonna give into blue lock so easily and he said hmm, i'm gonna be your final wall and if you can overcome me then i'll protect you anyway let's get to this chapter see what's in store for us this week in this chapter is titled um um shachihoko there we go amazing oliver aiku captain of the u20 has brought blue locks momentum to a halt once again He's single-handedly stopping them. Damn straight he is. Awakening to flow. Aiku blocks Blue Lock. Following that, um, the U-20 counterattack is coming. Aiku, you're on a roll. Is he awakened? No shit, he's awakened. Let's go. We have to catch up to him. The ball goes to Itoshi Sei. And Japan's U-20 moves onto their signature quick counter. Whoosh This isn't good. This isn't good. Not my watch, Itoshi say. Oh, sorry, my sleeping pill starting to kick in. Ugh. Here we go. If we don't score uh, the next one, we're done for. I'll try to stall as much as I uh, can in the mid area. Um, you defenders get in formation in the meantime. He's trying to stall, not steal. Good one, Karasu. Stopping him for those few seconds is a big save. It gives me time to read the most dangerous outcomes. And by the way, I got to mention this too. I'm going to start covering Ao Ashi. Go read that series. It is good. It's good. It doesn't have the extreme art, uh, ex extreme abstract avant-garde art that Blue Log has. But damn, oh, that art and that writing, everything. Here we go. Um, nice. Hyoren's covering the weak spots. So I can mark this fox without any worries. Go. Yee, Bakiro's got his, uh, his own side covered. Yeah, that's my boy. That's my man right there. Meanwhile, I'll focus on being this guy in a hype battle. Why isn't he saying it with style? Why? Why? Everyone is blocking the individual routes for the counter. What's left? Oh my god, boring slow shit. Everyone is blocking the individual routes for the counter. What's left is for me to stop this devil. Oh, look at my man. He's my demon is flying. His cells are all fired up and my man's is flying. He's flying on the field. Oh god, I love this art. I love this art so much. Amen! Look at my boy! He steps in so fast. He's he's good. No shit, he's good. And he already got behind me? I can't use my abilities to copy. Dude, you, you can't use your abilities to copy him is right. No one can copy my demon. No one can copy my man. You wish you could copy my man. He's challenging me to a battle of um, simple athletic ability. Dude, this ain't simple. What the fuck you talking about simple? Shit, I can barely keep up. I'm falling behind little by little. His and Itoshi says uh, timings. It's impossible to copy either while keeping an eye on both of them. No, really? Crap, Um, I can't stall him any longer. Here it comes. Woo, 
Shit is speed and timing are impeccable, but we're still far from the goal. With a pass uh, coming from behind like this, he normally wouldn't be able to make the shot. But I won't fall for it. I'm against Sheet out here. Ooh. Of course he can make this shot. Nice, Rayo. Uh, with someone like you blocking, his options are limited. From that position, he can only aim at this side. Love the... Damn, Sleepy Pill, you couldn't wait a few minutes? Mm. So his only choices are top or bottom. That is some major phrasing right there. Will, which will it be? Look at my man fly. Oh, Rayo, you, you wish. You wish you could clip my man's wings off. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, you ain't clipping them today, bitch. Bet on it. Just instinct. Come on, but... <laughs> Come on, bottom! So much my dude. My mind is going down like a nasty, dirty pipe of the uh, pipe that's going into Tartarus at this point. <laughs> what above? No, no, I I still have a chance. Handstand block! Ah, there's the name of, there's the title of the chapter. Shaggy Hiko, oh wait, Shaggy Hoko, there we go! Yeah! Woo! What the fuck? Damn straight my dude, he fucking stopped it! Oh, still have, I still have a chance to handstand block Shaggy Hoko, look at that shit! Look at that block! Dude, that movement is lit, and that block, woo! Hmm. Yeah. Um. Let's see. What the fuck? He he stopped it, but the ball is still in play. Oh shit! Uh, Gagamaru fell down. I have to stop it. If we get it, we score. We've still got this. Hmm. Rayo, clear it. Escape to the corner. No, I could steal possession. Um. How long do you think I've been watching? I'm bringing it in. A tap lift and what? What? That's a a tap lift and a jumpy turn. Kitty, look at that shit! Look at that shit, Seno. Can you do that? Oh, Seno says you can do it. He says you can do it like he's soccer genius kitty. He's a soccer genius kitty. He's a soccer genius kitty. But man. <gasps> Here's a copy of Nani Sashiro! Yes! This art, this art is everything. Oh my god. Nora! You are giving me life. Look, just look at Rayo's transformation into Nagi. Oh my god. Taking this hot potato. Rayo's illusions save them from a predicament. Time to lead things to a draw. Blue Lock's counterattack begins. Dude, this art, this art, this art. <sighs> and this is why the sales for this manga are so good. And this is why this manga destroys Haikyuu. Does. It's not, it's beyond Haikyuu. But motherfucker, the U.S. don't know. They don't know. Because I keep seeing, like, I have to tell you right now, I keep seeing all this shit from the normies and the mainstream channels. They keep talking about Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer, Demon Slayer. I'm like, fuck you talking about? Demon Slayer's done. Like, wh what are you talking about? And then I see that they're talking about the, um, 
American manga sales. I'm like, oh, okay, that makes more sense. Because I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? These normies are killing me, man. Oh, God, these normies and mainstreamer channels are goddamn killing me. Swear to God, I swear to God, like, manga going mainstream is a blessing and a curse, because now we got to deal with all these goddamn normies. But the thing, though, I, the other thing I got to say, though, and I loved it, and this is when um, the Ao Ashi announcement, came, uh, anime adaptation um, got announced, which, again, go read Ao Ashi, you will love it. Because even though the art isn't as avant-garde as this art, the writing is really, really good. It is. Oh my god, it's good. Um, but anyway, under that Twitter post, in the, in the comment section, all I kept seeing was the same thing. Like, they, they were, a lot of the community, was all the blue mockery, mockery readers were like, that's not a blue lock. Well, that's not a blue lock adaptation announcement. Where's the blue lock anime adaptation? Where's the blue? What, what about blue lock? I was like, as soon as I saw that, that just made my life. That there's so uh, that there's more American blue lock manga readers, and it just makes me question. Kadansha, I know Kadansha licensed it, but Kadansha, what are we getting simulpubs for blue lock? When? I mean, it took forever to get fucking simulpubs for for um, Knights of the Apocalypse, but why are we getting simulpubs for Blue Log? I don't want, that, that's beyond me. It's like, I, I swear, it's fucking pulling teeth sometimes with these Western publishers to get shit licensed and get simul, and get goddamn simulpubs. Mm. Mm. Swear, swear to goddamn God. But anyway, let's get back to the task at hand to talk about this chapter. I really love how Rayo's chameleon art is ch 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 chameleon. His art is different. Um, how it's really changed throughout this. Where, as with Aiku was like the it was like a th I love that we're getting the best way to describe it is we're getting like a 3D printer effect. I love that we're getting a 3D printer effect for this. That it was straight up the same as the snake that we saw with Aiku and here I'm sorry my sleeping pill kicking in. Um here we are getting this beautiful like transition slash transformation into Nagi for Rayo. And it feels like, I know it's weird. It's major phrasing for saying they're becoming one, but holy shit, that's what it really seems like. And we also are getting some manga Illuminati in a way, some yin yang motif. So anyway, I'm very curious what you guys uh, thought of this chapter, but damn, Gakamaru is definitely one of the MVPs of this chapter. And yeah, the other thing I got to say is that I do like about this chapter is that there is a, there is a limitations for Rayo's chameleon. His ch 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 chameleon is that he cannot copy. Um, uh, he cannot copy my boy Risui, and he can, uh, she, he cannot copy sheet out and he cannot, um, uh, copy say, that is, I think that's good as well. But now we're going to get to the counterattack. I can't wait uh, next, or I should say next week we're getting into the counterattack. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how shit goes down. I, but I'm still waiting for Borrow versus goddamn Sheet Out. When are we going to get Bar Borrow versus Sheet Out? You're killing me on this. That's all I've been wanting is Borrow versus Sheet Out, a Clash of the Thirteens. I need that shit in my life. I want a Clash of the Thirteens, goddammit. I need that. I need that shit. I want it. I want a Clash of the Thirteens. 
A lion. Can you imagine a lion versus a demon? Oh, God. Like, I can picture it in my head. Seeing Baro, seeing that lion just go after that demon in the sky. Oh, and he would, oh, just, like, see the lion, like, just tear apart them wings. And I love Shida, okay, but I just need to see it. I just need, like, at least Borrow to attempt it. Motherfucker, it's killing me. I just want Borrow versus Shida. I just, is that too much to ask? Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdic Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so my sweet assistant who is who fell asleep... And I can keep bringing you more Blue Lock content. There's a few ways you could do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, uh, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All of that is in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, find me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.